hi guys <coughs> my name is rajan thumbs up thumbs down below share and subscribe and slap on the bell icon to get my future videos updates uh, so guys without further ado let's go to our content like you know i make videos on flirting but today i'm going to be flirting with bollywood yes guys i'm going to be discussing about the life biography of a very well known actress of yesteryear yes i'm going to be talking about meena kumari meena kumari was also regarded as <coughs> the tragedic queen of indian cinema so first thing first uh, meena kumari was born as mahzabin banu uh, her father was an orthodox muslim uh, who used to work at uh, parsi theater as a backstage artist and her mother was a bengali christian who was a stage dancer who upon uh, marriage uh, her marriage uh, you know converted to islam and uh, gave birth to three daughters <coughs> uh, the middle one was uh, known as mahzab uh, mahzabin banu who later be actually became <coughs> Meena Kumari. So, <coughs> talking about the family, family was uh, struggling. You know, there was a grim struggle to earn a livelihood. So, Mahzabin Banu, from a very uh, young age, uh, she was actually four years of age when her parents took you know her from one studio to other studio in search of uh, uh, getting uh, you know a job as an act as an actor uh, as an actually as a child artist. You know, so Mehza bin Manu was lucky that you know <coughs> she met with uh, Vijay Bhatt, uh, the director, who is popularly now known as uh, the grandfather of uh, Vikram Bhatt. You know, so uh, Vijay Bhatt cast her in 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 uh, in her first movie uh, in Leatherface, and he re he renamed Mehza bin Manu as Meena Kumari. Actually, she was back then known as Baby Meena, uh, popularly known as Baby Meena. So, Baby Meena, you know, from the age of four years till the age of fourteen years, you know, she worked, uh, you know, in long uh, sixteen-hour shift, you know, all day and night, and the job was very tiring. So, <coughs> when Meena Kumari grew up, you know, it was again uh, coincidentally Vijay Bhatt who cast her in in movie Baiju Bhavra. <coughs> The first choice for the movie was uh, Nargis, but at the last moment, uh, uh, Vijay Bhatt decided to cast Meena Kumari. <coughs> so, uh, Baiju Bhavra was uh, a box office hit, a box office hit, and was a golden jubilee, you know, uh, which led Meena Kumari to get many fi many films, and all the films were successful, you know. Now, soon she was regarded, she was. She was actually among the highest paid actress of her time, including uh, you know Nargis and Madhubala. So uh, her career was on an uptrend. You know she gave many successful films like uh, Parinita, Kohinoor, Daira, Footpath, Sai Bibi or Gulam, among others. You know, and she even you know grew a close friendship with uh, the likes of Pradeep Kumar, Raj, Raj Kapoor, and uh, Nargis, of course, which <coughs> she. Uh, described her as uh, as a sister like figure you know so talking about her personal life <coughs> uh, Meena Kumari was like I said was the highest paid actress of her time and there was uh, another uh, you know budding writer uh, who came from uh, UP uh, his name was Kamal Amroi so Kamal Amroi had previously given a successful film in Mahal opposite uh, Madhubala <coughs> So now he wanted to cast uh, Meena Kumari for his film Anarkali. But before uh, even the film could begin, you know, uh, Meena Kumari wet, met with that ghastly accident and uh, she suffered you know, severe injuries and she had to be hospitalized uh, at, a, at a hospital in Pune, you know, and for, uh, I mean, for three or four months. And uh, during that phase, it was Kamal Amroi who came very close to Meena Kumari, you know, often he used to drive from Sion to Pune. Sion is a place in Mumbai, so often he used to drive from Sion to Mumbai, you know, uh, you know, just as a gesture for her quick recovery. So, <coughs> even if he didn't get a time to, uh, time to travel to Pune, he used to <coughs> send, you know, those telegrams and soon, you know, there were, there were telephonic conversations you know started between them and uh, soon you know their love blossomed 
and uh, they both decided to get married so soon after you know when when meena kumari was discharged you know uh, they decided to get married uh, but uh, meena kumari's father was against uh, kamalam rohi because kamalam rohi first of all was uh, a married uh, married man you know he, he had uh, uh, two previous wives and three children with them and uh, uh, and on top of that he was 14 years elder to meena kumari so her father never approved of the marriage so meena kumari left her father's house and she married kamal amrohi and started living at kamal's house so initially uh, things were looking pretty cool but uh, you know uh, soon uh, she realized that a cage is a cage even if its bars are made up of gold so you know uh, uh, kamal amrohi you know, after marriage did allow meena kumari to work in films you know but under uh, under uh, under certain harsh conditions you know like she should be back home by 6:30 pm you know and she should not take lifts from her co-stars and she should be driving by her own she should be driving by her own personal car and then uh, you know he even appointed kamal amrohi appointed his uh, right hand man called bakkar he often you know he used to stand outside meena kumari's makeup room you know and no one was allowed to enter the instructions were very clear that uh, nobody was allowed to enter meena kumari's makeup room except the makeup man you know <coughs> so uh, meena kumari you know now wanted to be a free bird you know and uh, those days uh, uh, raj kapoor was getting very famous in russia you know so uh, often he used to he used to host you know cocktail parties for uh, the russian delegates in which he always invited meena kumari so meena kumari you know always liked to her husband that she was busy in a shoot you know and always she used to attend those parties and get drunk so you know there were many incidents like uh, once um, kamal amrohi caught uh, you know the the whisky at her bathroom you know meena kumari used to hide uh, whisky in detol bottles detol bottles and and you know and uh, uh, just to disguise kamal so there were many incidents you know which uh, were uh, kamal uh, kamal was a egoistic person and there were some ego clashes between them because uh, at that time like i said uh, meena kumari was the highest paid actress of her time and uh, kamal was not getting paid that that much you know uh, <coughs> they were even you know uh, the matter of the fact the fact is also that that now where the famous kamal amrohi studio stands even today you know famously known as kamalistan studio her uh, you know the the land of that studio you know was purchased by meena kumari's uh, own money you know that uh, whooping 25 acres of land where uh, the studio stands even today so uh, that was the stardom of meena kumari those days so like i said there were you know few fights and spats you know once even uh, sora modi held a premiere of his film you know uh, at eros theater and uh, the chief guest uh, there was uh, this uh, mara uh, the governor of maharashtra so uh, during the premiere sora modi introduced kamal amrohi as the husband of a very uh, very famous actress so upon that uh, kamal was like i said was a very egoistic person you know and uh, he wanted to be known by his own identity so he never he didn't like the idea of sora modi introducing him to someone's wife you know Uh, i mean someone's husband a popular person who's husband so he wanted to be known by his own name so he left the scenes you know without meena kumari while she was busy you know watching the watching the premiere actually <laughs> and uh, so uh, like i said there were many you know many uh, many occasions where uh, they had many go clashes you no know? now meena kumari wanted to be a free bird so she left kamal's house and she started living in her uh, brother in law's house uh of course mahmud uh, you know uh, mahmud was the husband of her sister malika so those days mahmud used to teach uh, meena kumari table tennis you know and so she uh, that that is how kamal amrohi and meena kumari separated though they uh, never took uh, the official divorce but they started living you know separately so then uh, you know uh, like i said uh, the 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 professional life of meena kumari was always on an uptrend you know she gave one hits after another 
but it was at personal life you know she had turmoils in her personal life so now you know uh, she she was diagnosed with chronic insomnia a disease you know and uh, doctor even advised her to take one pack of brandy you know just as an alternative uh, just as an alternative for sleeping pills you know then uh, alcohol was getting on her mind you know because she was very lonely at that time so now you know uh, three three men were you know regard often you know they are regarded as you know the person who took advantage of they are even accused of you know taking advantage of meena kumari stardom those days among those the first one was dharmendra dharmendra even in uh, several interviews himself told that he was a heavy drinker you know since his early childhood so there were accusation that uh, he was involved you know in you know in getting in increasing the dosage of alcohol intake of meena kumari before she died actually so uh, like i said dharmendra you know is uh, was a person who came was a handsome person who came all the way from punjab sanival to try his luck at bollywood you know but nobody was ready to cast him in his initial years as a hero you know or he was getting few roles here and there so it was meena kumari you know so oh, when uh, he grew uh, you know close friendship with meena kumari that you know because of on her recommendation you know he got uh, six or seven films as a lead hero opposite her you know then his career took off the films like hit films like phool ka phool ka patthar you know phool aur patthar uh, among others so that is how you know when his career took off and when his career took off you know when he left uh, meena kumari in a disarray so that is how the industry works even today so um, <coughs> then there was uh, this uh, famous uh, you know poet gulzar you know gulzar initially initially was known as you know sampuran singh kalra you know sampuran singh kalra you know who worked at the garage so uh, on that in that garage you know uh, bimal roy the famous director was a regular regular those days you know so uh, he he asked his friend the garage owner that that he was he was looking for you know a lyricist writer those days and uh, so it was a word of it was you know actually the word of mouth of publicity from the garage owner to his employee actually who was gulzar you know which uh, gave gulzar his first big break in bandani as a lyricist writer uh, you know and uh, but uh, gulzar was a very ambitious person you no know? he always wanted to become a director like bimal roy so he started assisting bimal roy so it was on on the sets of benazir uh, that uh, bimal roy you know i mean gulzar first uh, met meena kumari you know and after that uh, there were many rumors that you know they are uh, that they are having an affair in gossip magazines so and uh, but uh, gulzar always denied those fact he always told that they are they were friends you know and uh, who had respect for each other's poetry and uh, they would only discuss you know about writings and all because uh, kamal amrohi never approved uh, uh, meena kumari as a writer though she was a very good writer also and poet and even uh, kamal amrohi's friend k abbas who himself was a legendary di- writer director he also said once that Meena Kumari's writing, you know, lack lack depth. So it was Gulzar, you know, who appreciated Meena Kumari about her poetry, you know. Then, uh, it, uh, you know, like I said, Gulzar wanted to direct his first film, and which eventually happened, you know, in uh, Mere Apne. So, you know, in Mere Apne, he wanted to uh, he wanted to cast uh, initially Chaya Deep, you know, but uh, the producer of the film wanted wanted Nimmi to act in. that role you know then after few con- conflicted conflicted discussions uh, i mean you know both producer and director came to a common uh, perception that yeah meena kumar will be meena kumari will be a suitable person to do that role so <coughs> and she was a very good friend of ulzar also so he cast her uh, in his film mere apne you know, which actually uh, was a successful film and was uh, among the last films of meena kumari you know after that you know the uh, alcohol intake alcohol was getting on her mind you know and 
<coughs> so uh, those days uh, meena kumari couldn't uh, you know uh, you know walk without having uh, alcohol so uh, alcohol was on her mind always you know and the dosage was increasing and so was the risk of her life and uh, she saw you know she saw sorrows and uh, like i said her personal life was full of turmoils so just to get rid of the sorrows you know she she started drinking even more those days okay so uh, like i said it was you know gulzar before her <coughs> before her death you uh, know she gave the personal diary of her poetry to gulzar so it is a very known fact that uh, meena kumari was a very good poet and writer so uh, after the death of meena kumari uh, gulzar did publish you know those Uh, poetry in form of a book you know but uh, netizens always accuse him for you know, hiding majority of her work so that is how you know he was he was a second person who was uh, who was accused of uh, taking advantage and the third person who is who was accused of taking advantage of her was um, a young writer from jaipur called <coughs> from jaipur called savan kumar tak you know those days like i said meena kumari was you know couldn't walk without alcohol and and you know and she was uh, always lost in her poetry and and she used to you know feed feed or give even money to those you know who were ready to listen to her poetry you know she was very uh, alone those days and uh, so uh, it was uh, you know the rumors were very uh, rumors were getting very uh, you know on air like uh, this uh, savan kumar was um, uh, you know he cast her uh, actually he, he cast he cast her in her in his movie you know the last movie uh, gomti ke kinare so th- there were rumors that you know uh, uh, while sh- while he was shooting for gomti ke kinare you know the uh, the money finished you know and he he had no money to to ma- to complete the movie then it was meena kumari you know who sold her bungalow to mumtaz and with that money uh, which actually that movie got completed so uh, he was again you know uh, he was also accused of taking advantage of uh, meena kumari stardom you know now the alcohol in talk in, in intake has gone you know uh, the limit has been crossed limit the upper limit of alcohol intake has been crossed by uh, meena kumari you know and uh, uh, during her last days you know gomti uh, kinare was her last movie and her penultimate movie was pakiza so in pa- uh, paki wo- pakiza was directed by her own husband uh, kamal amrohi so it is also uh, you know a, 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 a fact that meena kumari you know only took 1 rupees to sign the uh, sign movie pakiza you know uh, just as a appreciation appreciation of you know token of appreciation so uh, soon you know like i said alcohol was getting on her mind and you know she suffered from liver cirrhosis and she died a painful death and uh, when uh, meena kumari died you know uh, 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 so after after the release of pakiza actually and 3 uh, weeks after the release of pakiza you know then uh, uh, meena kumari's uh, supporters you know and fans you know uh, all all the cinema halls across the country were flooded with her fans and uh, and which which made that movie you know all time all time hits one of the all time hits and uh, Uh, there was a massive increment in the wealth of kamal amrohi so that is how you know people used her meena kumari so uh, actually once in an interview you know before she died she even told that all her childhood had gone earning for her family and all her adulthood adulthood have gone wasted you know earning for his husband so she never find love and peace in her life you know do in in her career span of 32 years you know she never hardly she gave any flop movies you know and uh, she was regarded as one of the best actress of her time you know that is why she is called the tragedy queen of indian cinema so guys comment me below uh, how was today's video i hope you like my video uh, and uh, i will also make uh, the hindi version of this video so till then take care and goodbye see you next time